recording. It's cool. Okay. Angel, why are you out here in the heat of the day, getting up early in your summer vacation? What, what, what brings you out? Um, I'm here mainly every day to contribute to the art community. We have people, we have so much traffic just every day, and for people to see your work and see us working every day, it just, it makes you feel good, like, seeing them see your work. How long have you been with working class? Uh, I've been there for four years now, um, and I really like contributing to this mural because before this, it was here for 21 years, and it's going to be another 30 years, and so for it to be up that long, it'll Tell be great. About what, what about art that gets you excited doing art? Um, I mean like doing art just for my talent. I've been doing art since I was r really small, since I could pick up a pencil. And I have talent and to express myself and for people to see it, just, it's great. What, um, have art in school? Or, I mean, tell me why you came to working class and what was it that they had? Um, mainly, um, I came to the working classroom. I was introduced by it through through school. Um, from there, I was introduced to it, and I joined it, and took courses from there, and just got more more and more experience. What did they offer that wasn't in, that you couldn't find um, th at working classroom? They offered certain classes. There were specific classes that they would concentrate on, like charcoal, um, portraiture, sculpture, and things of that sort. What do you like to do and think to do with your artwork? Um, Mainly portraiture and just. I'm sorry. Right. It's, it's okay. okay. So it's, it's okay. not natural, yeah. so I don't feel bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> like um, I like to. Thing I love to do the most. Um, I mainly like doing portraiture with my art. Um, I'm really great at it with graphite mainly. But should we do that again? Oh, yeah, Chuck yeah. was there. All right. Yeah. Um, I love doing portraiture mainly because I like the face and it just because it varies from person to person and there's just so much detail to get from like the the diverse faces just to get the characteristics and it's a challenge. Does anyone else in your family do art? Uh, yeah, all my brothers, um, and my whole family has done art, but mainly my brothers have got really um, have really great talent. My and I've they've been my inspiration since I was tiny. What do you want to do? Um, after high school, I, I wanted to plan for art college, but if I have, if I have, okay. That's okay, uh, go ahead. Right. Yeah, that's fine. All right, um, after high school, I plan to go on to an art college, but if that doesn't work out, I want to practice, um, I want to study science. You want to study science? Yeah. Talk about that. It's always yeah, a like, different world. Um, what, what, what do you, connections do you see between art and science? Um, mainly like in, like the engineering side of the science. Talk about, say, I like, uh, yeah, I, I like the engineering side of science, so there's more of like artistic side to that, and that's, it might work too. Do you think you'd be doing, thinking of that if you hadn't come to work in the classroom? Um, no. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, talk about this, say, uh, you, if I hadn't come to work in classroom or something. Um, if I hadn't come to work in classroom, I wouldn't have had as much experience and stuff. And Let's work on that a little bit. Yeah, let's work I on like that. It. Um, I don't think it, it did. Oh, it didn't? Okay, yeah, that's so. fine. That's fine. Um, but I think it's maybe talking about how um, like what got you interested in engineering. Is it the art side? Yeah, the art side. Okay. So, um, okay? you think we got it long yeah, enough? Yeah, we just got a What about um, working classroom? What has it, has it enabled you to Express yourself on the side of the wall. What, I mean, what is it giving yeah. you? And start with uh, working classroom. Okay. Yeah, working classroom has given me a chance to like to show my work and well, all of our work. We all of us have put a, our work onto it, and it's going to be here for 30 plus years. And people pass by every day, and we'll see it and adore our artwork. Oh, how did doing art get you interested in doing engineering? Um, I, I don't think it did. It's just some. No? no. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know. Okay, that's cool. I don't want to force it at this point. So, what gets you excited to get up every day on your vacation? Um, Why are you so excited? I'm excited every day. Yeah. Pretty much what I said already about people watching and stuff. So, we can okay. put that in there for the same.
So, okay. So what was it about expressing yourself through art? Um, just that people just get a great reaction out of it. They, they come by every day and they say, wow, how great. And it just makes me feel good. So pretty, good job. Let me go get you some Gatorade. And sometimes they buy us drinks. Not alcohol. <laughs> no, just Gatorade and Otter Pop. All right, ready. So talk about what it's like. I like what you're talking about. So we're gonna get it on the page, but um, talk, you talk about what it's like working here on the busy streets, traffic, and people walking by. Well, at first, when we first started on this big, busy street, I was a little nervous because I'm like, ah, everyone's going to get to see me all nasty and sweaty. But it's really nice because everyone walks by and we get a lot of compliments for our mural. And I'd rather be working here where people are actually going to see our work than in a little corner where no one's going to get to appreciate it. Um, what is the traffic like when it goes by? Do people honk? People honk and sometimes people yell things out. Or they say hi. Mm-hmm. Um, and what, why did you decide to become a working class um, I had this, uh, I had this really close friend of mine since like first grade, and he likes to act. And around eighth grade, he found working classroom, and he was telling me about it, but they didn't have that big of an art program. So later on in high school, he kept telling me about it, and he just, I would never get around to like, joining it or anything and I decided to this year. I started November, so I've only had maybe like half a year of being at Working Classroom. Why does it be like that? I like Working Classroom because it's not like the regular high school arts. They actually, they go into classes and show you different techniques and the people there, are, they're really critical, but in a good growing way. After I graduate high school, I want to go to a, a private art university, maybe like the one in Santa Fe, and I want to, I'm not sure what I want to study yet, but I really like animation and graphic design. Um, has anyone in your family before you got to college? Mm, I'd be the first. I'd be the first in my family to go to college. Is that something that was in your plans? Yeah, to go to college. Okay. So you guys are here in the heat of the day, early on summer vacation. Why do you get up every day to come work on school? I get up every day because this is such an opportunity, and I don't think I would have had any chance like this if I wasn't in a working classroom. What is it you like about doing art? What is it that gets you excited? What do you feel um, like doing it? I really like doing it, and um, it's been something I've done since I was really little, so it's just a habit. It must be more than a habit, though, because you're out here sweaty, hot, <laughs> painting with, you know, things that doesn't smell that great. And no. What goes on when you, when you do art? What do you feel like? Mm, I'm not really sure. I just like being challenged and trying new things. This is the first time I've ever worked on a mural, and it's the first time any of us have worked on a mural. Um, this mural's been here for 21 years, so we couldn't really change anything, but we were here to fix it up and make it look brand new. And when we were painting, um, each one of us had like a little section, like we didn't assign it to each other, but um, Angel worked on the hands, he was really good on faces, so Angel worked on faces, and then I worked on the baby and down there, just, we'd, we all did a little bit of everything. We were, uh, before we started painting, we had to scrape everything, all the old paint off, and then we had to prime everything, and we had to redraw everything, 
And when we were down there, um, the baby was like completely covered in primer. So I decided to just sit there and draw the whole baby out again. And so that kind of came my, that kind of became my side of the mural. And everyone, they just kept going and one person would stick here and everyone would keep going and then one would land over there. No, when we were scraping it, Joe, Joe had taught us to scrape off a little bit and then redraw what we saw. And then we would go back and paint it and redraw again. And then we would paint it. Alright, ready. because this is a vacation from my vacation. Uh, being at home all day, I don't think that's really fun for the summer. And coming here, I get to do what I love, get to hang out with friends from working classroom and just enjoy myself. Is this the first time you've worked on a mural? First time working on a mural. What has it been like talking about uh, Working on this mural has been very fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Working on the mural is very fun because you get to, I get to do what I love. I get to come out every day, paint, uh, one of my favorite things to do, just paint, so. And then I love to hang out with everyone here. I love all the, all the working classroom people, the workers, the students. What do you like about doing art? What's it that gets you excited? What? <laughs> Art, uh, it's always been my passion ever since I was little. Anytime you were saw me, like I would be in second grade and I'd be trying to draw. Instead of like going outside, I'd just be sitting there drawing. So I've been drawing for a while. I just love doing it, like creating something from my own head and like actually having my own creation on a piece of paper. And so, are you in art school? Right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get A pluses. Uh, other classes, I get A's and B's. I usually get one C, but those are my advanced classes. Um, and you talked about working classroom. I got involved with working classroom through a friend. She put her kids in, and she saw my stuff, and she wanted me to join too. So that's how I found out about working classroom. And yeah. <laughs> Working classroom is different from taking an art class in school because art class in school, it's like you're not really being taught as much. And like they're not really focusing on what you need to learn. In working classroom, it's like, all, oh, you could work on this, you could expand on that. And I don't think in, an, in a classroom you can really do that, especially since like all the other kids aren't really there for art. They're more there just because they have to take the class. I think art is important because like it's a it's a way to express yourself. And like without expression, uh you could like I don't know what I said. Okay. <laughs> why why you think art's important? Why is it as important as math or something? Uh art's important because like it's self expression. It could help you get through stuff and like it can help you express yourself, what you're feeling, without like really saying it in words. Is that important? I think it's important because, like, what if you're going through something tough and you don't know how to talk about it? You can't really say it to your friends or anything. What if you start drawing it? Then you're expressing yourself and getting through that emotion. So it helps you cope more with things going on in your life? Yeah, it could help you cope, or just for fun, creating something. 
I think it helps. I think it helps expand the mind and brain, and like helps you relax a little bit more. And I think it will definitely help you in your other classes. Nice. <laughs>
Well, he started going to working classroom because I heard about it in school, and then he told me about it. And one day I decided to go to a classroom with him. And it was a lot of fun for me. I got to see what they were doing. Everybody was laughing, having a good time, discussing what the project was going to be. And I thought it was really cool, so I decided to tell George if I could, you know, get in the classroom and all that. And since then, I've been here for, like, three years already. And it's a great thing. What does it keep you coming back? Um, the classes, everything that I learned along the way, like, it's not only just one class they teach you, they teach you certain things, like, watercolor, portrait, sculpture, and, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun, and also, um, the tutors that they have, they're really cool. They have tutors? Yeah, they have tutors. How do you use the tutors? Um, like, for schoolwork, you know, if we have schoolwork that we don't get, they help us a lot, and that's the way that I could use working classroom in school. They help us a lot, and I like that about it. Done. Um, I've been working classroom for about a year. Okay. Where do you oh. go to school? I go to Washington Middle School and I'm going to seventh grade. You're gonna go to Santa Fe? Seventh grade. Oh, seventh grade. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, could you talk about why why are you out here working on this mural? Like, you could be doing a lot of other things summer vacation. <laughs> well, I'm out here because necessarily the community loves this mural. It's been here for 21 years, and just like the way that people come and honk and they give us more inspiration to keep on doing this work instead of just being at home doing nothing. And uh, what part of it, talk about your work on the mural, what kind of things do you do? The parts that I've done on the mural is basically base colors, the horizon, um, shading, and just sky textures and stuff. What kind of stuff have you learned just working on about a bird? Well, I've learned how to texturize faces and foil. I've also learned how to do shading because when I entered here, I didn't really know how to shade and I was pretty nervous to do it. But now, since Katya taught me how, I know how. Why did you decide to get involved with working classroom? I decided to get involved with working classroom because um, one of the teachers went to my school and they introduced it. And I thought it would be pretty cool to do something after school instead of just going on the CTV. So that's necessarily what I did and I took in about 10 classes already. About a year. Um, do you use the tutoring after school tutoring? Yeah, um, I use the after school tutoring when I have some homework that I don't really understand. They help me and they advance me. That way I could get it. Yeah. Um, and I know working class, you have to maintain a certain grade. Yes. Right? Yeah. Can you talk about, is that hard? Or is that um, not necessarily because the grades that I have are from B pluses to A pluses. So it's not necessarily that hard for me because I get stuff like hands on. Um, what do you, I know you're just starting, I mean, do you know what, do you want to keep doing art? Yeah, I would like to keep doing art because necessarily what I want to do when I grow up is become an artist. I want to go to the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, and do you want to, what kind of art do you want to do? Um, I would like to do like portraits and like freestyle art and like um, murals exactly. Talk about what, what is it about, what happens for you when you do art, what do you like about it? Just necessarily that I like to um, ex it expresses the feelings that I have inside that I can't really express with words. Does that help when you can't express something to put it on canvas? Or yeah. Or yeah, and like people get necessarily the idea of it. Um, do you think it helps you with your other classes? Well, yeah, because it gets out, like, if I'm frustrated, it gets out that frustration that I have and it lets me concentrate more on the work in the school when I let, like, my feelings go. I mean, I know a lot of schools have had to cut back their, their art, theater, and dance classes because of COVID. Do you think we need to keep the arts program? Well, necessarily for kids, that way they can express themselves like the way they want to instead of, because some kids are really shy and they don't really know how to express themselves. Do you think it's as important as like math and science and reading? Well, yeah, I think it is. Can you say that more? I'm sorry, like, it's, I think it's just as important as I think it's just as important as math due to the way that the kids 
um, just necessarily do whatever they want on art and in math they have to do specific things. Oh, he's yeah, Where the moons are now, I had conception from conception to death, right? Just the phases of of life. And so when I came back with this in the original design, they said, no, 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 no. We, we can't have that. We don't want we don't want anything negative. We, we want some positive. We don't want anything about death. And um, and then because I had this conception scene up here with with this the sperm. The sperm cell just fertilizing the egg, and they said, "No, no, no, we, you know, we can't have that." <laughs> so this is, see, this is the things in, in in public art when you when community public art when you when you're talking with the, the community people, whom you're doing this for, you can you have to listen to what their their input is. So I went away and, and redesigned it, and have you seen the the mock-up up there? Yeah. Yeah, and so they approved it, and. They suggested some other things, like they said, this clinic, these four faces here, it represents the four ethnic groups that mainly use this clinic. And it's, it's um, Anglo, Hispanic, African American, and Native American. So this was an, an additional thing that they had suggested. Um, but basically, this was it. Why did you get kids involved in the first creation of this? Why was that important? I mean, since I won't be in, like, kind of pretend like you're embedding the question in your answer. I got kids involved. In this. Yeah, well, kids are involved because I used to work in these a project similar to this in New York City during the 80s, during the Reagan years. So, um, and in that one, it was City Arts Workshop, and uh, you worked with youth, again, with community people, getting their input. And then the youth are paid, it's their summer job, and they learn not only artistic skills, but they learn that art could possibly be a career, because they're getting paid to do, you know, to help somebody revitalize their neighborhood. So it's, it's, there's lots of levels of where they, the, the kids benefit, because they're, they're learning job skills, as well as doing research, for whatever the subject matter is, and learning to listen to the people and talk to the people, interact with them, and then and then doing the mural. What did the kids get out of it? They're coming to do restore it now. Yeah. So, what um, what is? I'll talk about how that what that does for them. You talked a little bit about some of that, but like the kids who are out here now, what are they learning? Why is it important for them? Well, before we started this. We showed them that video that was that was made, that YouTube one, and about the, the original project. And we showed them that, and then I spoke to them about that this wasn't. We're not starting from scratch, but we're redoing a mural. So it's we had to be um, respectful of what the design was there. Now that we could add things and maybe tweak the design a little bit, which is what we've done. We've added a few little things, kind of update the mural. Um, but what they get from it is. Well, they learn the restoration techniques because we have to scrape it, you know, sketch back in. We photograph it at first, scrape, sketch, scrape, sketch. We have to prime all these. We have to reseal the wall. All these cracks have to be resealed because water had gotten in. So they learned the, the physical aspect of, of it too. Uh, because a mural, the life of the mural depends on how well the wall is prepared. And this one has been totally repainted. I mean, we went over everything. We didn't just restore it. We, we totally repainted all the images. The images are, are all there. And we, we redid them. Um, why, you know, I'm looking at this show about youth and art, especially kids who might be more in like the at-risk category. Why is it important to keep projects like this, organizations like working class and programs in the schools alive? What did they get out of it? Your, your question was, um, <coughs> why, you know, the importance of art for young people, the art in general, art here, music, theater, visual art. All right. I was just saying to Michelle, I said, one of the things that 
constantly surprises me. I have no children myself, so, I mean, these, these are my kids, you know, all these kids I've had over the years. Um, I'm always surprised at how human beings come into the world pre-programmed with all this natural ability. Not all of them, but some of them. I mean, some of these kids on this project have never had an art lesson. And it's like, to see just this raw ability. It reminds me of kittens. I don't know if you don't know if you have cats, but it's like kittens come into this world pre-programmed with all this stuff that they do. And it's like some of these kids, I mean, they're all this... It's, it's amazing to me to see this. I mean, because I'm an artist, I have some talent. But I had to go to school and college and take art classes and all this stuff. Some of these kids never had an art class and they're doing all this stuff. So that amazes me. It's, it's, I think it's important to, to, uh, to nurture that. Because it's cheaper to do it this way than paying to keep them in, locked up in prison, right? When they get into trouble because they're doing really dumb see, stuff. Do you really see a, a connection between those? Do you can give these kids those opportunities they won't end up in prison? Well, you know what I always tell kids? I've told them this over the years. I said, talent is not enough. Okay, you come into the world, you know, with this gift from the Creator, whomever you believe the Creator to be. Um, you come into the world program with that, but that's not enough. You have to do something with it, because the prisons are filled with talented people. Filled! Right? Look at this dude who just blew up the, the movie theater. This guy was intelligent and all this. Right? And he's going to go to jail or executed. So it's not enough. You have, to, you have to direct it. You have to do something with it. And especially in this country, and I tell people this all the time, I'm an immigrant, and I tell people, I said, why do you think people come here from all over the world? It's because in this country, if you get up off your butt, it's all here. If you get up off your butt, you can make something of yourself. So that's, that's the lesson.